So I am here tonight for a night in red, the SME Awards, and I'm here with Mr. Tim Thorne. And it looks like you've been honored as one of the top professionals and entrepreneurs in the city. Tell me what you do. I am a fashion stylist and designer. So what type of clothes do you design? Men, women, formal, casual? Uh, basically men. I have done a couple of women's pieces. Everything I'm wearing tonight, I made. What advice would you give any upcoming fashion designers? Because the fashion industry is a hard industry to get into. Would you agree? I think so, especially if you are designing for women. That field is just super, super crowded. It's not so much crowded for men. Um, and that's worldwide. There are not that many designers that do men's fashion. Okay. Uh, but now you see more of the uh, luxury brands like Christian Dior, Chanel is even doing stuff for men. What designers do you look up to? Are there a few male designers that, that stand out to you, like Dapper Dan? or? Absolutely. Dapper Dan is definitely one of my influences. He's not a designer. Um, well, he is a designer. I can't say that. He is a designer uh, and stylist. Uh, also, Carl Lagerfeld that mm -hmm. passed away a couple of years ago. He was one of my biggest influences. Uh, and uh, Giorgio Armani. Okay. Um, and the reason why is because I like what they stood for. Mm -hmm. Uh, in terms of the fashion, and they did not forget the men. Mm -hmm. They did a lot because Carl Lagerfeld started out at, with Chanel, mm -hmm. and so he built that company up, and then he launched out on his own, and he basically went um, and did a lot of things for men, and, and, and everybody knows that Armani did it, because whenever you see a man like, oh, you know, you got that Armani yeah, suit. Armani yeah. suit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so those have been really, really big influences. So I am here with Miss Grace Holden, and she has been awarded as one of the top 50 professionals and entrepreneurs in the city of Houston today at the SME Awards. Tell us what you do. Well, what I do is I am a speaker agency. So what we do is we help people amplify, illuminate, and monetize their message on stages. People who are interested in your Speakers League, how can they get involved? Oh my goodness, right now we're having a huge event. We expect thousands of people to be there. It's in July. It's called Voices of Victory. I am ready to speak because each and every one of you are a voice of victory. You've gone through so much in 2020. You're now in 2021. And guess what? You came through on the other side. So if you're an entrepreneur, if you are a leader, if you're an author or a CEO, you will want, will want to be at Voices of Victory. And you can reach me at IamReadyToSpeak.com because I know you're ready. So I am here, ladies and gentlemen, with Anthony Stubbs from Ready to Love Season 3. Many of us know him as Tony or Tony, Tony, Tony on Instagram, right? Yes, yes. So what brings you out tonight? Oh, uh, well, I was invited out uh, by a couple of people and then, of course, uh, realize a few ready to love people was getting awarded on awards so I was like why not come out support so that's why I'm here tonight yeah. well we know that you are an entrepreneur as well yes. so tell me about the businesses you have that you're running and that you're killing right now in Houston well um, I got the TTF movement that's the total transformation fitness um, we're all about the whole lifestyle mind body spirit physically mentally and spiritually uh, what else uh, I've got my finally got my own store now where uh, I have natural products that are all natural that you can use so you can implement it into your lifestyle so uh, everything's been going real good I'm just grateful and uh, yeah that's what's going on right now so when can we expect the fitness video oh well actually um, I'm actually going virtual for a live class starting May 4th on Tuesdays I'm gonna do 25 minutes of greatness do a full body workout you're gonna need your dumbbells but uh, it's gonna be fun it's gonna be quick to the point and we're gonna burn that fat up off you so summertime fine let's go I am here with Miss Pamela Richards, and she has been honored as one of the top entrepreneurs and professionals in the city today. Tell us what you do. Actually, I am an um, executive admin for uh, technology department, and I also have a ministry that I've been in ministry for since 2009. And uh, I have a array of things that I do as far as um, working with um, girls' home. Um, going into the, the uh, prison. Okay. Um, also, I have a new thing that I'm launching now, um, Relationship Concierge. Okay. And I have a book that's coming out, um, Relationship Rehab, Rewriting Your uh, Relationships. I want to send a big shout out to Miss Cherry Ford and Sam Mac Ford for allowing me and acknowledging me for this wonderful opportunity to come out and, and award me here tonight at the SME Awards. 
And I'd like to say that uh, it's been an honor working in this community as an entrepreneur, doing various charities for almost 30 plus years. And to be recognized is a wonderful thing. But all these wonderful peers of mine that are also doing wonderful things in the community as well. My name is Brian Sharp Davis, and this is Miko TV. I am super excited and honored to have received this award from Sam Mac Entertainment. It means the world to me. Hi, I'm Sharika Hunt, and I just won the SME Award. I am so honored and grateful to Sam Mack. This is a dream come true, just to be honored, you know, for all the hard work that you do. I am Winter Patterson. I'm here with Miss Kimberly Morris. She has been honored as one of the top professionals and entrepreneurs in the city. Tell us what it is that you do. I'm a real estate agent and also to a financial planner. All right. So did you have a really good year, 2020? I did. I had um, my best year in real estate ever, actually. So I was number two in Keller Williams Platinum. Any advice you have for any upcoming realtors or people who are getting ready to step out into the real estate industry right now? Yeah, absolutely. Don't be afraid. Just step out there. Whether you're new, whether you've been in the business for a long time, it's just essential to go ahead, go after what you want. And then also to find a mentor, find someone who has been successful doing what you want to do and partner up with them and follow in their footsteps. So I am here with Rashid Floyd, and many of you know him from Ready to Love Season 3, my castmate. Yeah. And he's been honored tonight as one of the top entrepreneurs and professionals in Houston. So for, for the people who don't know, tell us what you do. Well, actually, I own a private concierge, full-service luxury and exotic car business. And what that does is it focuses on business professionals, entrepreneurs, athletes, and entertainers who don't have the time to do traditional vehicle shopping so I do all that for them and just take all of the heavy lifting out of it for them and I deliver it straight to their door but you know because they people like that they play they pay for convenience at the end of the day and that's the, the service that I offer now I know the type of cars you sell <laughs> so mostly like luxury foreign right tell me yeah. the last car you sold what was it actually I just recently sold to an NBA player um, and we're sending it out to Miami he bought a Aston Martin DBX that's the new Aston Martin SUV. Aston Martin has an SUV? It just came out uh, this year. So this is my first one I've sold. So it's pretty cool, the, uh, the DBX. So. so how can we, like somebody who wants to buy a Lamborghini or a Bentley, how can they find you? They can find me on Instagram at Rashid underscore the car god. And they also can email me at Rashid at Level Luxury Automotive. And it's pretty simple. Okay. I answer all of my emails and all of my DMs about cars. So. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the infamous nephew Tommy. He is the host of Ready to Love seasons one, two, three, and four. He's on the Steve Harvey Morning Show. He got the Prank Calls podcast. You got a whole lot of stuff going on. There's a on. lot going on. There's a lot going on. I'm trying to maintain it, though. How you doing? You're looking good. Thank you. Yep. So we were, I was shocked to see on season four, you brought your wife out. I did, I did. I brought my wife, I've exposed her. And now, <laughs> you know, I told her, you're going Hollywood on me, but no, she's having a good time. It was, it was, it was a good balance. I had fun and, and she's like sprinkled throughout some of the episodes. So it was kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. So what kind, now I know you are a person that stays busy. You back on the road doing comedy. Right. How you know? I'm I saw like you yeah. did a show not too long ago, right? I did last weekend, I did Birmingham, Alabama. And I hadn't been on stage since uh, Thanksgiving of 2020, so, you know, I had to. I got back in, got my feet wet, felt good. I will never go that long again. Really? How long was the set? Uh, oh, I did, I mean, all together I did about an hour. Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, I worked. But you mean you'll never go that long without? I'll never go that long without, without uh, being on stage. Yeah. That's good. So what can we look for? Because I know you always got upcoming oh, projects. Oh, God, you know what? Uh, I'm working on a few things. I, I, I tell you what. I got some grits coming out. That's right, y'all. <laughs> I tasted Nephew Tommy's grits, and they were amazing. Like, already seasoned, right? Yep. They can buy yep. them and just... So I'm thinking mid-May, mid to late May, the grits will be out. You got to try them. You do not want to miss it. It's called Just Good Grits. That's it. Just Good Grits. And when you try these, you're done. You're going to stay with me for a long time. So hopefully, I'll be at HEB on the shelf 
for a long time. All right, just good grits. <laughs> so I am here with Terry and Tori Smith. They are the creators of Love in Black, yes. and they were awarded tonight as one of the top professionals and entrepreneurs in Houston. How y'all doing tonight? We are really good. How are you, Winter? We are blessed. Yes, we are, we are blessed. Really blessed. So tell us about the show Love in Black. What is that about? What can we expect and where can we find it? So we are, by day we're marriage counselors, marriage relationship counselors. Nighttime we're radio and television personalities. Yeah. So we have a show called Love in Black Radio, which comes on Tuesday nights on Gospel Radio Nation. But we simulcast on Facebook. And we also, on third, on Friday nights, is our television show, Love in Black. And we highlight, you know, local celebrities, local people and all. And then we answer love questions yes, or relationship, relationship questions. questions. And Love in Black means having your love in the positive, like your finances. You want them in the black, not in the red. So it's not just for black people? No. no. It's having your love Anybody in the positive. Know. A lot of people think it's just for black people, but it's, a, it's like your finances. You want to have them in the positive, in the black, yeah. not in the red. Awesome. So tell me. People say the number one relationship destroyer is finances. What do you think is the second? Actually, no, the number I one is communication. communication. Oh! Communication. Yeah, after that, yeah, but yeah, communication. Yeah, because you got to communicate about finances. Yeah. <laughs> so communication is one, finances are two. Give me one more. Infidelity. Um, yeah, infidelity. infidelity. Where can we find you? Because I want to I wanna watch the show, and I'm sure there are some other people who are considering marriage or who are married who want to find out good resources. So. Right I, I will say, let me just share this, baby. I will tell you, you can find us for counseling needs. I forever will. That's Christian marriage counseling. We're Christians. Um, and we do relationship and marriage counseling, individual counselors as well. So I counsel women, do wife life and, you know, girlfriend to wife. And then my husband also, he does individual counseling. Yeah, so you can find us on, we're on YouTube right now. We're getting ready to go to another TV station, but we're on YouTube right now at Love and Black with Tori and Terry. So I am here with the radio icon, Mr. Funky Larry Jones. He is here tonight at the SME Awards, and he was actually awarded as one of the top professionals and entrepreneurs in the city. How are you today? Winter, I am great. Thank you. And what, what an honor. Thank you so much. So you get, I'm sure you've gotten a lot of awards over your career. What does this award mean to you? Honestly, Winter, this may be the most special because Sam and I started when he was doing small house parties. And I would show up and come out, and we'd had a great time. But knowing Sam, Sam and my wife went to high school together. This is a family affair. So this, this award is very special to me. That's awesome. What other projects do you have going on? Because I know people, we know you on the radio, but I know you got other outside ventures that you're doing. Tell us about it. Right now I'm working with the Lieutenant's House, and it's a program called Reentry TV. And we're taking young men and women who are getting out of prison, getting them ready to get their resumes, learning how to dress again, because the world changed when they went in. We provide them jobs and housing. So Reentry TV is my number one project right now. Listen, I need you to say your name like you say it on the radio for the, for the audience. Can, can you just do it one time? Hey, y'all, this is Uncle Funky Larry Jones from the People Station, Magic 102.1. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. And when can we tune in to hear you? Every Monday through Friday between 2 and 7 o'clock. And my new partner, Ali Sadiq, Crazy Funny Man. And on Sunday, we do Magic Classics. And this Sunday, we'll be featuring Sam Mac Ford and giving him congratulations on another great event tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. I am here with the beautiful Denise Noir, and many of us know her from Ready to Love Season 3. <laughs> so excited to see her see her here today. But she actually just got an award as one of the top professionals and entrepreneurs in the city of Houston. Yes. So tell us what you do. Oh, man. Well, it's a plethora of things that I do. I'm a model, actress, coach. I coach shot put, discus, javelin, and sometimes the hammer. Um, I'm a content creator. I've been in TV for 15 years, and I create TV shows and film, and I'm just here, just a woman soaring, you know? Yes. Awesome. So tell us, are you, do you have projects in the works right now that we can be looking out for, or is it secret? Well, I have a few that are in secret, okay. but at the same time, stay tuned. We want to know. We want to be ready when you get ready to launch the projects. We want to know firsthand. So how can we know? Where can we first find you? Firsthand. Firsthand, where you can find me is www.denisenoir.com. Also, I'm on Instagram as Denise Noir 21 I'm on Facebook as Denise Noir. That's D-E-N-I-C-E-N-O-I-R. And I got Cousin Tommy sitting here looking at me. Okay. <laughs> and, um, yes, I'm. you can find me anywhere. Just... 
Google me. So I am here with Mr. Gene Ross. He's just been honored as one of the top 50 entrepreneurs and professionals in the city of Houston. And we're so glad to meet him. Tell us what you do. Well, by trade, I'm a dispatcher for a trucking company, but I also have a nonprofit called uh, Faith Works. And what we do is normally reach, raise money, try to help the homeless, and uh, feed you know the less fortunate than ourselves. We do a picnic every year. I have a group called the Get Fresh Crew, and basically what we do is up, uplift people on Facebook and just raise money and try to give everybody a little bit of something, you know. So where are you located? Do you have a headquarters that you work out of? Actually, or? at this time we don't. Uh, I do have a Get Fresh Crew uh, page on Facebook, and a lot of people know about it. We do an annual picnic at Kitty Hollow Park every year. This year it'll be uh, October the 16th. And uh, like I said, we, we put on a picnic and we feed people and try to give them a little pleasure, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So how can we support you? Uh, basically, look me up on Facebook or when we have an event, just donate anything. If we have clothing drives, donate clothes or whatever you can do. You know, every little bit helps. Right. So you heard it here. This is Mr. Gene Ross. You can support by following him on Facebook and donating anytime he has a drive. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. And thanks, Sam Mac, for everything he's done.